You got to take your ass to the invasions. When you do that, all right, so hold on. First off, you got to make a talisman, my nigga. It's called the uh, war horn. You can either use two of them. It's either the war horn or you can use the motherfucking, uh, what's the name of the other talisman? Hold on. The Windbreaker. Alright. How you make it? You come to the collector. Alright. So, you see how it was right here? This is what you're going to go buy. So, you're going to get your ass on here. Take your ass over here to the Shang Tsung's laboratory. Alright. Now, if you already been to the shop, then just go to where it says shop. Oops. Come over here. And, I mean, shit, since I still got some currency, I'll still buy it. Alright. Come over here, buy that. I'm finna go and show you, I'm finna show you the motherfucking tech, my nigga. All right, so there's three places you need to go to, my nigga, before before you even get started on the method that I'm talking about. So you go there to get that talisman, then take your ass over here to Natara. All right, now it's gonna pop up at this shop. So uh, I don't know if you got that far, but if you have beat the invasion thing, is this right next to that Natara boss fight? All right. What you gonna do? You gonna bring your ass over here and grab this right here, the plasma orb. What this does is add an extra projectile to your talisman. So like, anything, whatever your talisman does is gonna do an extra projectile on top of that, right? Alright, so you gonna buy that. Hold up. Now you gonna come to the Sun Dew Festival, alright? There's this another uh, collector shop over there. You gonna come fuck with this. Alright. You gonna buy the, these four things down here? You gonna buy those. This right here adds a charge. Now this is the reason I'm able to use six different charges on that shit. So this, uh, this basically shows how many times you can use that talisman in a fight basically this right here makes your shit unblockable the dragon ember the bottom four all right now there's one twist so that jensei instance right there it loads up you only get one you can only buy one every hour so within the next day or so or in the next four or five hours if you on still make sure you come back to the shop so you can buy this again so I'm gonna show you exactly what what, what you gotta do all right so I'm gonna buy this this uh so this talisman the dragon medallion it improves your talisman's damage so basically how much ever damage your shit does is gonna do a lot more you feel me this right here allows the Denian charm, it allows your ship to recharge, recharge fast. So basically, instead of my shit charging once or twice after every fight, it's charging all of them after every fight. Plus, uh, plus a little bit more, you feel me? So yeah, you buy those. Let me buy this. Let me buy this. Alright. Now let me take me take you to this. This is the gateway portal. My nigga. Alright. Go to the go to the shop. No no no, hold on. You don't even need to go to that. Go to the forge. Forge. Alright, upgrade talisman. So this is the talisman I've been using already right now. This is what it tells you exactly what my shit does. So like, uh, so my shit does five hits of armor during activation. Uh, it has six charges. It does unblockable projectiles. It does eight plus charges per recharge. 
So that basically means every time my shit ch recharges, it does it eight times. So even if I just use three notches in one fight, it will re recharge the entire thing. Yeah, you definitely need to do this. Uh, and they do four extra projectiles. This is where I have it at when it's maxed out. So, uh, where's the new one I just bought? Alright, so this is the one I just bought. This is what your shit gonna look like when you first get it. You ain't gonna have shit on that motherfucker, you feel me? So, what you gonna do is, you gonna take, uh, one of those, the Dragon Metals. You gonna take one of the focus headbands that had as armor to your shit, the dragon ember, the, the Denian charm, uh, the Gensei, and the dragon blood. You gonna take that, and then you gonna you gonna forge it. When you do that, it upgrades it, and so now I have. Plus 10% damage, one hit of armor during activation, unblockable projectiles, and one charge. Now, that's what I was bringing up the time frame about, right? So, you can buy a lot of these uh, things, but only when the shop refreshes. So, that Jensei Essence, you only get to check that you only get to get that once every hour. So, you're not gonna be able to get that. Nah, that what nah, that shit ain't useless, bro. You gotta build it up. Your talismans, you have to build them up. You're not just gonna throw one thing on that bitch and it's gonna be super strong. Like, nah, nah, it's, it's a collectible thing. I don't know, where, where is it at? But this, this is where you're going to go to buy most of your shit right here. The Sundew Festival. That shit fire. But yeah, this right here, you can't buy this again until 52 minutes from now. So, uh, yeah, you be able to buy like at least three or four of these. But like, yeah, remember these four at the bottom? You buy these and upgrade it to your talisman. You do that, you'll be doing what I'm doing. Alright, now hold up. I gotta tell you one more thing though. I ain't gonna lie. This is where the heavy grind come in at. Alright, now if you wanna see the XP I'm seeing, you gotta get to like somewhere in the level 50s of this tower right here. When you start off at the seasonal tower, you're gonna be level 10. You feel me? So you're gonna have to beat that tower like... I want to say about a good 30 some times before you you get to where I'm at right now. But the benefit about it is you will be able to uh you will have that talisman upgraded and shit by the time you get doing all that. So. Hey, I mean look, I just dealt with it. <laughs> I mean look, but look, it's worth it because look, you able to master out all your character mastery and like minutes yeah it is worth it i ain't gonna cap it like if 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 that shit was ass like if it wasn't worth it bro i wouldn't be doing it like katana bro i just now started working on katana character mastery and I already got her to like, what, 21? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, I mean, like 31? You feel me? Like, I just started on her shit today. Like, this stream today. You know what I'm saying? Like, this stream, my nigga. Lady Cypher, who was I playing when we first started this shit? Who was I, who was I doing? I forgot who, I don't, I don't even remember the character, goddamn, but we mastered that nigga out, you feel me? Yeah, it was Katana. Finish her. Some goddamn body. Oh, she was like level one, bro. Like, I've only played Katana in practice mode. 
and, and uh, like a couple of those towers y'all saw me play like the other day but like outside of that i've never used it so like now i'm 32 you feel me kano was at level one you've never seen me use the cameo and i already have him at level 11 level 12 you feel me We gotta, we gotta wake Relic up. Say, uh, look, I'm getting everybody up to level 35. Y'all might not ever see, we might not ever see nothing like this ever again. So I ain't gonna count. I'm finna, I'm finna abuse that shit. I'm on all my characters at level 35, my nigga. The only offline grind y'all gonna be seeing me do on this shit after this is gonna be when they drop combat league season skins every, at the beginning of every season. That's it. After that, it's gonna be strictly online, my nigga. Damn. It's on with 